Welcome back and now to a dull stage. Several persons were injured as supporters of the two key political parties in the country, the All Progressive Congress APC and the People's Democratic yeah. Party PDP clashed near the palace of the Oba of Benin. The PDP governors led by the chairman of the PDP campaign council, Governor Yesum Wike, who were in the state to flag off the campaign of its candidate, Governor Godwin Obaseki, visited the Oba of Benin. The two parties have traded blames for the occurrence while the APC accused PDP of unleashing violence on its supporters. PDP blamed the crisis on the ruling party APC in the state. Okay, the APC has now become the PDP in the state. So joining us to discuss this is Washington Osifo, a member of Izeyamu campaign organization and the PDP publicity secretary in the state, Chris Nehikari. And uh, so both of them will be doing justice to this topic. Let me start with APC. Um, how do you explain what really led to that kind of clash? Because I would have expected that um, if the opposition, because APC is now in the opposition, if they realize that something is happening here, why shouldn't they be far away from that area? Can you explain to us what really happened? Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know what opposition and uh, the government in power has got to do with a campaign that is general and should be general to, to all political parties. At this time, you are aware that the, by the rules of the game and following the next timetable, you will agree with me, uh, reasonably so too, that it is a, it is a campaign period. Elections are just few few weeks away from now. The floor is set for political parties to campaign and set their manifestos to, their, to, to members of the public from whom they are expecting votes from. So on that day, you know that just like PDP, I'm not talking about whether opposition or government in power or party in power, I'm talking about political parties. It is within our rights, like it's also the right of the People's Democratic Party, to go and ask for votes from the people. So, and that was exactly what was happening on that day. I like the way you particularly put it, that it was near the palace, meaning not the palace as they claimed. Yes, the PDP uh, uh, trail and the governor of the state, a member of the PDP, as it is today, was coming from the palace. Yes, the road that leads to the palace is not the palace. There are other edifices and that road leads to so many other parts of, the, of Benin. So the APC, it is within their rights to use those roads to also assess their, their, their destination. And of course, if a political party, just like you said, if that was what was in the minds of PDP on that day, that because their government in power today, arising from the fact that the governor, the man who made the governor has, cro has crossed over, it is within his rights, to make his friends and uh, associate with each whoever, okay. we do not contest that. But to say that because we are in opposition today, we cannot avail ourselves of the same opportunity that is given to us by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Okay. To also work to convert our votes from uh, members of the public. Washington. So it has nothing to do with who is in power and who is not in power. I, I, I and it didn't to... happen in the palace. It happened around the palace because we were also on our own trail just that they were already there. It's like two persons going to uh, farm, they met on the way. And I, that's exactly what it is. We're okay with your account. But let's listen to um, the PDP publicity secretary, whether he has a different version. Well, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Chris. Thank, yeah, thank you for having me. I'm, I'm actually uh, uh, exactly surprised uh, the narrative is being changed or being narrated by my brother, Barista Osifo. Osifo is, is actually not turning people in his head because I'm sure the whole world is aware that the incident and the catastrophic behavior of the force organized by OPC were at the state of the palace as our governor, governor of the state of Basaki was going to say the country visit on the other with other PDP leaders and the national leadership of our party. You see, 
before PDP set up, because we were a very organized and peaceful party, we wrote a letter to the palace, and the palace confirmed that we can come on that day. We wrote a, another letter to the Nigerian police force informing them that we'll be on the palace on that day. We wrote a, a, a letter to INEC that we'll be in the palace on that day because that is what the constitution and the rule for election uh, details for us to do. That's true. APC had no business being around that vicinity because unless they can now show us a letter where they told INEC or the police that they would be at the palace gate or around the palace. Because the rules of INEC for campaign during the election period is that you must tell them your itinerary. But for, for, for the lawful or lawless party, which they are, they did not. Instead, they paid some funds to go there to try to eliminate the complete leadership of PDP and is elected government from the South South Zone that was present. Mr. Chris, Mr. Day. Chris, let me stay with this, you. This sorry, issue. sorry, let me butt in here. Let me stay with you because I'm so sorry we have limited time. We have five minutes or three minutes to round up this discussion. So sorry about that. But please correct me. Uh, like you alluded, like um, Washington alluded, I, I'm I'm a bit closer to that place. I know Ring Road is a very popular road. It is not this, the this rally issue, ground. No, no, you see, you get it wrong. Okay. The, 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 uh, the problem did not take place to Ring Road. Ring Road no, is mean, where the way to do this. I mean, Obas Palace is. I mean, Obas Palace. The Obas Palace Gate. Okay. The Obas Palace Gate was where the congregation of APC stones were, where they started throwing missiles okay. at the governor and governor's vehicle, okay. with other governors inside that vehicle. It was at the Obas Palace. Okay. It was at the gate of the Obas Palace, while going in and while coming out. It was when they, when, they, when they failed in their attempt to assassinate these people, they now went to the rampage, destroying billboards and posters of PDC okay. that were in the palace, that Thank were in Ring Road. Well, I'll come so back to you if time permits so People cannot change the narrative. Okay. I'll you come back to you. I'll come the back to you. Pictures and videos are all over the internet, all over social media. I'll come back to you. And if... everybody knows that this thing happened at the other palace. Thank you so much. I, I, was, I just wanted the clarity on that. But Washington... There's something yes. he has said, and he was making reference to the Electoral Act, where it is advised that when you know your opponent is going to have a rally or going to congregate in this particular area, do well to stay away from that place, especially when they've got you permission from the police. Is it, is it, is it not unfair now, for your <laughs> members to be around that place? Now, first, let me, let me try to tell my brother. You need to do that uh, that it is wrong so in a magisterial posture states that the APC, you know, intended to eliminate the class citizens of this country. We are a law-abiding abiding party, and members of that party, we are law-abiding. It is within their right, like I said, to campaign. It is also within our right to campaign. I want you to know that the palace of the other and our king is a river king that I will not want to even drag into, into this discussion. Just like you rightly said, that the path to the, you, you understand the ring road environment. Therefore, the of the palace is not a close. It is on Plymouth Road, and Plymouth Road leads to stadium as well as it leads to ring road and another, another part of Benin City. There are six or seven roads, major roads, that takes its uh, route from ring road. So, uh, uh, um, um, Plymouth Road is one of is one of them that links that links the path to, to Airport Road and links through to Stadium Road. Therefore, he cannot claim that because he wrote a letter to police and he wrote to INEC, then it, it was also within the contemplation that he should write to us not to use that road on that day. I am not sure he has that power. I am part the constitution of the of the of the. Of the or the Federal Republic of Nigeria but, but contemplated should, it, should, or it wouldn't anywhere should that, should, should that be the time that the, the governor the will be good? Mr. So Mr. It is within our right to also use that road to get to a location where we were also campaigning on that day. Okay. I can tell you, on, in the city on that day, because we were converting for both, 
There were so many uh, wards, so many areas, so many zones where campaigns were going on at that particular time. So, so who we'll, we'll launched the what first do, attack? What are we expecting us to do? Seconds. We put our hands because PDP is on the road. We will not use the road. <laughs> that so, is not within the contemplation of our law. Excuse me, we sir. We can fight each other if we are if if. If there are people that are responsible, they can allow to go our way. They too will also go their way. Thank Why would they open fire on the, on the APC members who were lawfully going about their business, going to a location for their campaign, only because they met them at, uh, at Plymouth Road, okay. very close to the palace? Thank you so much. Close to the palace? Does yeah. that mean close to the palace is the palace? Yes. No. Listening, listening to both of you, you have just 15, 15 seconds to round off. Please, I want you to stick to time. How do we ensure that this does not repeat itself by talking to our members? Let me start with uh, Chris. Well, if you notice, our members are very responsible. The governor on that day needed the members not to retaliate for the way the APC members behave. And we, we are very pleased to announce that our members have listened and given the call of the governor. And that is why we all can quiet and maintain the state. The okay. governor is the one that wants peace in the state. Okay. He's not interested or wants, doesn't want the state to be engulfed in fire. Or because he's the governor and he's very confident. And we are very confident that okay. the election is out to win. Thank so you. we don't want any problem. And all we can do is that we can to see to reign the, in their tongue. The ones that call themselves the lions and the tigers. The ones that they were encouraging to go to each ward and which unit to attack electorate and voters. But I can tell them one thing. I know people cannot be intimidated. I think we can avoid the rhetorics. Thank you so much. I think we can avoid the rhetorics for the sake of peace. Let's hope that we'll have a peaceful poll. Washington, please, 15 seconds. Well, I think it's all about uh, we are all other statesmen, responsible people. I can tell you that. For me and my party, it is wise, wise restraint and reasonable, reasonable caution. But for the PDP, my message to them through my party is that they should, not, they should take away from their head this power of equivalency. Equivalency does not mean that everybody must die for you to continue, continue governance. Democracy does not contemplate that. And for okay. everyone, every, they must know that okay. if you have a right to swing your hands to at any level, the other person who, who possibly could be a victim of the hands that you are swinging have a right to also defend his eyes so that you don't, you don't get your hands into, that you are swinging into his okay. eyes. Thank Therefore, you so much. If anybody I, must be responsible, I, I want it is the PDP that is the power today who I, should be responsible. I, wish we I do use... not envy my brother today who is on the side of Godwin defending him. He Thank has you. had to condemn Godwin before. Washington of, of, the governor of uh, those states, now PDP uh, members. On the ground of irresponsible conduct, that, that the governor was, uh, was uh, carrying out. It's okay. And, and I think that we can avoid the rhetoric. Today he has, he's on the, he's on the other, today he's on the other side doing what he has to do. So what I don't envy him. My brother I'm is sorry, a very quiet, mic responsible now. man. I I'm talking to mute about your uh, mic Chris, Chris because of time. Is intelligent man. My respect for him is intact. I will continue to respect him because he's a God-fearing man and the lover of the people. <laughs> However, thank you so much, Washington Osifo. He's a member of the media team for the is a Yamo campaign organization. And also thank you, Chris Nehir Kare. Trust me, this discussion will continue, not just on our social media platforms. We'll find time to bring both of you. And uh, then I'm sure it's not going to be this hot rhetoric that we are having tonight. I will take a short break. And when we come back, I'll be giving you my take. Please don't go anywhere. This is my take. As regards the clash that occurred in Edo State, I have to say that it is a pity. It is a pity that some have been blinded by vain and short-lasting benefits that they risk their lives for those who would not do the same. It is unfortunate that the impoverishment of the Nigerian youth for decades, alongside the frustrations that have come with unemployment, have made them easy tools for violent politics. It would be great to see one day that to see young Nigerians challenging their energy into demanding accountability from the government instead of blindly following persons who have failed in moving their constituents forward. Like Dele Farutimi rightly once said, 
If you must die in a war, die in the one for the liberation of yourself and loved ones. Do not die in the war. And that's my take for tonight. Thank you for joining us on this conversation. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time. I am Coyote Ladeinde saying bye.